What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the next Minecraft video. Anyways, today guys, we're going to be covering the best new ideas for transportation. Most of us guys, when we think of transportation, what's the first thing that comes to our mind? Let's be realistic here guys. So the first thing that comes to most of you guys' mind should be the elytra, right? And honestly, it's true. Horses, llamas, all these things become obsolete and we don't use them ever again. End game. So with that being said guys, I've compiled a list of the best transportation methods that they should add in Minecraft and there's some really cool ones so you guys should stick to the end. Before we get to the such amazing things that I want to show you guys, let's just talk about this, the old normal Minecraft transportation stuff. The minecart. It's non-practical. I mean, you have to build rails and it still uses a lot of iron and Me -me. it's not very fast. And of course you can use powered rails guys, but you can't really transport it. The horse is mainly the things you kind of ride as they're the fastest and they jump pretty much the highest. And of course guys, boats are pretty cool, but come on, Mojang, you can't even put a chest or furnace or anything on there. And of course guys, we have the Grand Elytra, which is what we all use in Minecraft. But anyways guys, I feel like there's much better things out there, so let's go explore and see what they are. guys so the first one on the list is a horse carriage how amazing is that guys now i'm going to bring a lot more detail into this but first let's admire how amazing this looks i think this is from shrek but guys this just shows how amazing the creativity would be if we had horse carriages you can have go for an old medieval look or we can maybe make a movie reference to like shrek it's really awesome guys and so how would it work is how you'd have horses and i would think there's like a max horse limit maybe six to four is around the limit and you need at least two horses to run and think about it guys the elytra is all we have especially in end game horses become obsolete and you don't use horses anymore so what if we have better use for them and we actually use them to run these carriages how awesome would that be you would kind of be here and you would control them you would have the leads and maybe you have to hold the lead instead of tying them on and i also would think guys maybe the horses have rest time they can only go so far in around two days and then they have to rest for an entire day just so it wouldn't be that overpowered because i feel like this structure this kind of vehicle you would kind of get in the you know near the, near the beginning of the game you wouldn't really use this in any game um but this is how it would look like very very cozy you got a bunch of chests inner chests um yeah furnaces anvils a nice little bed you know because you're traveling a lot you can even use this to move a lot of materials from one place to another in bulk which is really nice too and here's a little outside view guys you can even shoot mobs you can have more chests more storage if you have friends you guys can put like you know maybe like slab chairs and you guys can just look out it's really nice i think it's a really good view the more horses you add guys the more things you can add in here which would kind of make it more balanced and more realistic so honestly one of my favorites for sure it's really awesome Alright guys, coming in number 4 we have is the bulldozer, or if you want to use a drill, some sort of underground rake. The thing is guys, how cool would it be if near the end game of Minecraft you can make this kind of bulldozer with a beacon. So it wouldn't be too overpowered in the beginning of course, and you would need lots of iron, so blocks and blocks of iron. So you would definitely need to be OP at the end guys. And since at the end of the end game guys, diamonds are not really worth to you, but you do want to maybe dig out really big caves, and you really want to do that really easily. Instead of a beacon, you can actually make this huge bulldozer and destroy anything in its way. And guys, with this contraption you can give me hoppers where you have chests on top and it collects every stone that you've collected and it'd be so good for mass gathering stones and other materials and if we look at the inside guys iron doors again for protection you would have the slow con contraption to renew maneuver and see what's going on and at the same time guys you can be here for a long time you can have bed furnaces chest which would collect the actual stone and you would just chill out here guys and it'd be really cool to have this nice little bulldozer and this is pretty much how it would look like guys if you have a rig and you would destroy anything in its way going underground as far as i can see and of course not destroying bedrock as it would not be able to do that so it'd be really cool if we had one of these things in the game all right guys for our next one we have to travel deep underwater guys because you guys probably know what it is you guys probably guessed it yes sir it's a submarine
think about it guys how hard is it to travel underwater it's so annoying to travel underwater especially when you have night vision you don't have um, depth strider you have respiration but how awesome would it be guys to travel the unknown oceans with this amazing submarine so let's go take a look at it guys and so this is what you get in the entrance right here you use this trap door right here you close that up oh, okay you close that one and then close that one just just in case so i would say in the back guys more you know more miscellaneous stuff so chests inner chest normal chest beds just things you would have it's really all up to you guys so as we go into the main room guys more storage um because it i would say this kind of is a temporary base and this kind of submarine you can use for multiple players as you can see you can have like six players or um sorry five players but you can have six players you can have more beds and you can have your own little crew here especially in multiplayer mode how awesome would that be guys having your own submarine and just traveling some people here some people in the back and you can have people of course controlling it so this would be kind of the main room guys just to control everything we have windows you can have the camera the camera room here to access the camera on the top and you can just control it from here guys you can imagine how awesome would it be guys and how cozy it is and just having these underwater adventures with friends or alone it just be so cool and it'd be so much easier to travel underwater and i feel like this is an amazing one that just needs to needs to happen man. it needs to happen it would be amazing maybe this ship even runs on a beacon so you need a beacon to actually fuel it so it's going back up you can climb up here up here jump up and yeah guys it's awesome i love it i love this little camera and honestly it's amazing Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of my favorite ones of all time. And I think, guys, honestly, as a community, we all want this one. Like, Mojang, can you please put it in the game? <laughs> like, imagine that tiny little boat compared to this thing. And honestly, man, there's tons of these creations, but I think this one was definitely the best in my opinion. I mean, holy crap, did you guys look at this? So first, let's explore the top and see how it will work. So this is kind of our crew membership. Just having your crew rocking around and just imagine how awesome it would be multiplayer guys imagine the capabilities of having like a pirate war kind of warfare like having real cannons and shooting against like pirates or other players how awesome would that be guys and here we just have the main captain's place you have the steering wheel right here to steer um the boats really really cool design um and just i just be so awesome oh my gosh it'd be amazing i'm just like i'm freaking out about how awesome this would be and we go to the second floor right here guys this would be pretty cool this would have the cannons you have to reload them and we usually use anvils for cannons i don't know how we got one that one to flow that's pretty cool but you would have pretty much cannons you would shoot your enemies here would be kind of like the, the mapping out area you would map out where you're going oh my god this is amazing this would be kind of like the captain's area for sure again guys kind of the more storage here for cannonballs you would have chests barrels furnaces just more like you know miscellaneous kind of things it's pretty cool here's the bottom floor guys and as you know it has everyone's treasure this would be pretty cool you would have so much storage here you can have I mean, trap doors here there's like a lot of entrances to storage and imagine if boats were actually a thing guys you would never have to make a base you can make a boat and just travel the lands like look at the storage you have the capabilities what I'm saying here, just 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 to you know, a lot of players will be really creative with their own ships and boats. And honestly, guys, you can even fly all the way up here. You can make a ladder going all the way up. Does this one have a ladder? I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. But you can have like a ladder to see like a viewpoint at the very top. This is just amazing, guys. So, guys, how would you get these boats to work? Well, in my opinion, guys, a really cool thing they can add is a use for the dragon hand. So I feel like, guys, every player should have a dragon head right above here or somewhere. They have to place a dragon hand somewhere on their boat and. And this would kind of indicate the front of the boat so you would have to place the dragon in near the front of the boat and what that would do is it would activate maybe the eyes of the dragon would glow and when that dragon eyes glow and you can sail across the oceans and just sail so i feel like this would be a nice design for the dragon and would have a nice use for the head so just ultimate guys this is probably my favorite one but guys let's go to number one which is up to the sky And 
honestly guys this is probably hands down the best thing that's ever happened in minecraft i mean look how awesome this is shout out to the creator this is absolutely amazing so from the back we have is the big engines that would flutter the ship and make it fly and this would have mass storage maybe fuel that kind of stuff just normal storage food whatever whatever you want you're the, you're the captain guys you can choose whatever you want here you know beacons for light because you know at this point you're so rich you have beacons for light so it's awesome windows here to see, check out the underground and you guys can just see amazing views you can have light you can just jump off and fly whenever you want to have mass storage diamonds food everything you name it and here's one of my favorite part guys like look how cool this is it's kind of scary too because if you fall guys and if you don't have an elytra you're done for and i feel like this will be the giant source of energy we'll, we'll, we'll get to this more later guys but this is all you need to know is this is the giant source of energy that pretty much provides energy for the entire ship farms you can have pumpkins here um here's kind of just a little area to chill out but i feel here will be kind of more farm and here guys you would have as i said the top floor and this is oh my it's so beautiful shout out to the creator once again so guys as the energy i was saying the ender dragon egg doesn't have much use at this point just for decoration right and i don't know what they plan to do with that mojang up to you but i feel like one of the good things you can choose maybe you can have multiple options one of the options is it acts as an energy source and this giant crystal relies on the dragon egg and the dragon egg is kind of the energy source for the entire ship and the only reason why it moves is with the dragon egg and so you have to defeat the and dragon to, in order to get this in order to make a giant ship so that's kind of my theory to it wow look at the view guys look at that view so also guys you could have weapons too maybe you have airship warfare if other players on multiplayer you guys can have your own cannons and just shoot at other players taking down their ships how awesome would that be and look we see the amazing pirate ship right there and honestly guys tell me what you guys, what you guys think comment below guys i think this is an amazing idea um honestly i think it would be absolutely evolutionary if minecraft added this into the game it's an amazing ship and i think it'd be something that players would want because think about it guys minecraft is a game of exploration why would we have a temporary base when we can have this base that literally travels anywhere we want to go that is just <sighs> honestly man but overall guys tell me what you guys think about it i love it personally well guys that's it that's my list guys hope you enjoyed the video please show those creators that there's some love as i said guys these are some of the best builders i've ever seen and if you guys do like this idea guys maybe if you want maybe hopefully mojang if you're listening to this please add at least one of these but guys if you did like the video make sure to like subscribe comment below you guys your favorite vehicle and guys i will see you for your next video so thank you guys again so much for watching make sure to like subscribe comment below your favorite vehicle and peace Peace out.